All right, lesson two. What is fault? What comes to your mind? Now, I know you can't interact with me because we're watching the video, but what comes to your mind when I say the word fault? Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Have you been at fault for anything in the last two months, three months, years? Probably not. When's the last time that you've actually raised your hand and said, it's my fault? Probably a very long time ago. Or if at all, it's with someone that you really care about and really love. Okay, maybe it's your child. Maybe it's your significant other. All right, but typically when we say the word fault, we see it as a cause of failure. We see it as something negative. We see this word fault as blame, as finger pointing. And our society today does a whole lot of it. We want it to be everyone else's fault. It's our supervisor's fault. It's the company's fault. It is the industry or the system's fault that I didn't get a raise, that I didn't get promoted that I didn't get to read the safety policies. No one made it available to me. These are all things that we hear over and over and over and over and over again. When you think about it, it's a very negative and derogatory thing, fault. It's the equivalent of passing the buck. And that is just so easy to do. It yields extremely quick results. Think about how fast you can wash your hands of responsibility when you use fault. Right? It's just that simple. It's a negative. It does no one any good. And if we assign fault to something else, whether it's a person, a object, the car didn't work, the brakes didn't work, the stoplight didn't work properly, uh, the music was too loud. All these little excuses. That is what fault is. And it's easy for us. We get away from being responsible and having to live through, endure, and make changes. So when we go back to this whole concept, fault versus responsibility, the first thing we have to look at is fault. And this is what's happening all the time. And we see our society shifting this way continuously. We always want someone else to take care of us, whether it's the government, our parents, our significant other, the company, the, employ you know, the employer, the public agency, the city, state, school, whatever it is. We want them to step in and spoon feed us. We want them to step in and hold our hand and walk us through. We want to blame them for any little thing that goes wrong. And in the world of safety and risk management, that just doesn't work. Remember, what is at stake here? What is at stake is your safety, your health. And if you are placing that blame, passing the buck, lying to whoever, lying to yourself, then all you're doing is working your way around the circle of fault and nothing ever gets corrected. You don't move on, you don't learn, you don't live fully, you don't actually work safe and you put yourself at risk of injury every single day because we never solve the problem that way. All right, that's fault in a nutshell. So let's move over to lesson three and we'll take a look at responsibility.